Awo, shalom, shalom ras tafari. Ine ras yadinos tafari neng. I'm Wendem Yadon of the line of Jesus Society of His Imperial Majesty and a member of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated. Here's the good news. The good news is that Yahai, Yahai, Jalif, and that our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos, is real. Yet we have some sad news um, to report to our brothers and sisters, especially in the Federation and in the Rastafari community, that our beloved elder, Dr. Gladstone Robinson, has, has passed on to the spirit world. He is with our, our ancestors, with the ancients in the bosom of Abraham, and with the King of Kings and his Christ in spirit and in truth. This we are faithful and admit is the truth concerning the passing of our beloved elder. Now, how do we know this? We know this because of the word, because of the teaching of his imperial majesty. And after our beloved elder, Bongo Rocky, had passed on, we were inspired to search, you know, when Aina Rastafari say that Aina Aina die. And theologically, eschatologically, that is true. Yet in this dispensation of this 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 old world system and the coming of the new, we must be conscious and, and realistic and truthful mainly to the teachings of his Imperial Majesty and concerning the passing of our beloved brother, Fikra Selassie, Ras Fikra Selassie, that was Dr. Gladstone Robinson's Ethiopian Orthodox baptismal name, and he passed in 22nd. 22nd was known in the West as Ash, Ash Wednesday, and um, today, or earlier in the day, really yesterday, because now we're going into the Shabbat, is the Friday evening going into the Sabbath or Shabbat day, but previously, based on what we have heard um, from Ethiopia and from ones and ones who are in touch with others in Ethiopia, he has been laid to rest. Now, there's much that we can, you know, we can say um, concerning our um, relationship and, and what we learned from and through Dr. Robinson. He was 82 years old. This is significant for I and I when we think about it because also His Majesty, Kadamawi Haile Selassie I, also was of that particular 82nd degree when he went to the higher life, to the Abba Kedusinet, on that sort of a level, or when it was reported that he died as well. But this is what the teachings of the Sitan Nagas, and we pointed this out, as we said, when Bongo Rocky, you can check out the video. The video should be out there concerning the passing of Bongo Rocky. I think it's a couple of parts of the video, but we went through that, in we went through this particular book right here. This is the Sitan Nagas. Just take a take a stock of this right here, the Sitan Nagas, the Law of the Kings. And when we turn it to page um, 22, or to, actually, excuse me, Yikuta, chapter 22, it speaks about the, quote, dead or what people must do for the dead. And we, we read over this before, but we're connecting this with the Shabbat reason because this is the Shabbat time, and we say Shabbat Shalom to you, to the I, them in the name of Kadamawi Haile Selassie I, and in the name of his beloved Son, our blessed Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos Yeshua HaMoshiach. And we also say Shalom to those of our ancestors, to those who are martyrs, to other brethren and even sisterin who have passed on, whom the world says have died. But here's the truth of when we say, Ainaiz Rastafari, don't die. We need to understand and comprehend the teachings of His Majesty. 
here it says that those who have believed or mamen bamarinya in the Lord in Gita, in Adonai, Yehoshua HaMoshiach, they do not die, as is as was said by Adonai, by the blessed Son of God Himself. The Bain Ha Elohim said that those who have faith, true and faithful witness, they do not die. And it speaks on how they 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 rest, they rest from their labors. And we give special thanks to Wayne Rose wrote an article on Baltimore Rastafari Examiner. You can go check it out. The article is called Celebrating a Life, um, Gladstone Robinson. And it speaks overall of, of, of not even the half of the story, they say, has been told concerning um, this brother's life and, 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 the, and the impact that has had, positive impact on many of us in Rastafari and in the movement of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated, especially concerning the the land grant, the Shashimani land grant, that that most gracious gift of his Imperial Majesty to we, the black people of the world, the once lost but now found Beta Israel. But I want you to hear this word, brothers and sisters, concerning the so-called dead or those who the world regards as dead. It says that in the church you shall gather without laziness to read the holy books, to read the holy books. So what are we to do when those of our kith and our kin, our beloved ones, transition, tradition, pass on, um, move to the higher height, the spirit world, there's different ways that ones and ones say it, and, you know, in a sense, to each their own, or, you know, to each their own way of, of, of reasoning it out, but here's what the teachings say concerning this important issue, you know, because many know how to deal with many things, but when such things that, such as death or the loss of one's loved ones, and especially for us as Rastafari in particular, this is why we are going into this particular message at this time, in addition to all that we have already said and to much that we still have to um, say, because a half of the story has not been told, and there's, there's so much more that ones need to know concerning Brother Dr. Gladstone Robinson, in particular with the Ethiopian World Federation. And, of course, in every life there is there may be good, there may be bad, there may be ugly even, but from what we are able to testify to, this brother, Dr. Gladstone Robinson, has been very instrumental to we, the black people of the world, to Afro or African Americans in particular on one level, to the Rastafari movement, and to just African peoples and Ethiopians in general. Because when the call was made, he answered that call. And though we know there's no perfection outside of God and his Christ, we're supposed to strive to it. And when we look at a life such as his life, and we fairly and, and honestly weigh and balance it, we have to give thanks and praise. And here we are told that we are to gather without laziness to read the holy books and say psalms for those who are asleep. It doesn't say though the chapters concerning the dead. It doesn't say to those who have died. It says to those who are asleep. They are asleep from this world. You understand? So for us, they are sleeping. You understand? But where they're at, they are with the ancestors. They are with the forefathers. They have gone to the bosom of Abraham as faithful ones in the King of Kings and his Christ. And his Christ is very important. Jesus Christos, our black Lord and Savior, is very important. We cannot get to the Father except through the Son. And this is a message particularly for Rastafari, who recognize the Father, Kadamawi Haila Selassie, but do 
to post-traumatic slavery disorder due to a lot of the lies that have been told to us and 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 the and the the, the false the antichrist version the whitewash version of Christianity many of our brothers and sisters um, quite understandably have been turned off to Bible have been turned off to Christianity and religion but that's only because we got the wrong side of it you know what I'm saying? now we get the other side of the story the half of the story that hasn't been told so from our Ethiopian witness from this Fitta Neges right here it explains to us and now that we're in a situation where we have to confront and to deal with the loss of a loved one someone whom we personally knew someone who we personally as a brother in um, Mikey Dredd um, I and I Mikey Dredd not the other Mikey Dredd who also has passed on but a personal bro brother in that we call um, um, Mikey Mikey Dredd he said you know we broke bread together you know, it's not just somebody that you shook hands with high and by, but it's somebody who, who broke bread together. He he has stayed in I and I house, you know, with I and I guests, with I and I sister wife and other brothers and sisters, so forth and so on. He he shared with us hours and hours of reasoning on his recollection of 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 our story or history. His story of our story, speaking about the Ethiopian World Federation, speaking about Ethiopia and Rastafari and those things that we can't find anywhere else except from living witnesses. So he spent a good part of his living witness to communicate to us that truth and even to provide documentation of that. And we are, we are quite thankful you know for that and this has been given to us and to whom more is given more is required so look forward to that John willing more of this information concerning I and I interviews and uh, and you're going to see the interviews for yourself I mean we filmed a lot of this this is what's so so precious and special about that and you know went into um, the half of the story hasn't been told you know, so we, we can smile even though in I and I hearts, um, it, has, it hasn't hit us maybe yet, you know. In fact, um, in learning about it today, Sister Deborah, Sister Deborah, you might know Sister Deborah Waltz is of local number 13. She called to inform I and I. Um, we got in contact with uh, uh, Brother brother Moore, Ross Moore. We spoke for some hours. We um, went to Sons, um, name of a Rastafari barber shop, and reason find I, Idrin there, and Gladstone Robinson. He 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 was he's known, you know, among even a lot of the ones who are not um, Rastafari, but are black people. You know, a lot of the youths, you know, the 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 ones who a lot of folks forget about. You know, the ghetto youths also got to break bread with um, Dr. Robinson and to begin to hear half of the story concerning Ethiopia and what Haile Selassie the first has done for I and I. So how else can we but celebrate his life and, and his contribution to the movement of Jah's people? Yet and still, we had hoped to see his face again. And and we were unable to. Um, I think the last time we face to face eye to eye was probably about two years ago or so. But since 2003, we did have opportunity to spend hours and days and and to reason and ask any question. You know that's a beauty. You know asking the question with someone who was willing and open as he knew or could present an answer or any information or any fact, he was always willing and in many ways able and did do. So we give thanks. So here's what we are to do for such martyrs, such 
Dusan, saints, holy ones, because every Rastafari is a saint. Every true and faithful Rastafari is a Kedus, is a Kedusan. How do we know that? Well, read Numbers chapter 6. When a male or a female, man or woman, shall separate themselves to the Lord, to yod Hey, wow Hey, to Jehovah, to Jah, that one shall be Kedus. So every true and faithful Rastafari is a Kedus, whether man or whether woman, if they have consciously separated themselves to the will of, of, of Jah, our Father, and His Christ, our Black Lord and Savior, they are Kedus. So here it says that for our brethren who are asleep and who are Mitmanan, Mitmanan is the Ethiopic way of saying faithful and true, mistranslated as believers in your Bibles, but according to the Ethiopic, it's Mitmanan or Amanyo. Those who have Amen, Amen, Revelation 3 and 14, faithful and true and faithful witness, who bear true and faithful witness of the commandment of Jah, the word of Jah, and the testimony of his son, our blameless Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos, otherwise known as Jesus Christ, who is an Ethiopian, a black man. That's the half of the story many still have not heard and many others refuse to accept. But truth is truth. That's the fact. Do the math and check out the facts. But we say right here for our brethren, and he was a brethren as well as an elder for I and I, who are asleep and who were mitmanan in getachin, who were faithful in our master, and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Offer for them in your church the prayer of sacrifice, which is his holy body and his precious blood, to the King of heaven, to the King of Zion. Offer it to say farewell, to say farewell to the one who sleeps. Pray for the one who who is asleep by walking before his buyer, his bear, and where they used to carry the palican that they would carry the one who has gone to sleep or has passed away and saying psalms. And it says to say psalms. If he was faithful, these are the exact words here in the in the Fitta Nagesh, if he was faithful to Christ, and we can be a witness and testify that our beloved brother and elder, was one who sought to be faithful to Christ, you know, and um, if he was faithful to Christ, the prophet David has said, precious before the Lord is the death of his saints. He also said, turn, O my soul, to thy rest, for the Lord hath been bountiful to thee. These are the first words and, and direct quotes of scripture. And now it inspired us and motivated us to, you know, look at the footnote and we find here in the footnote it has Psalm 115 and 15 and 114 and, and 7. Now we're not going to go through the numbering of the Bible right now, but that's based on the Ethiopic numbering of the Bible. If you look in, if you look in, um, the King James Version of the Bible, you'll find these two these two uh, quotes are actually in the psalm that we know as Psalm 116. Now, the numbering is different. The Mizmur Dawit that we've published, the parallel um, Psalm of David with the English and the Amharic, we have it at our website. You go check it out there. Uh, we go into more detail on that. But if you want to find this particular psalm, that the uh, that the Fitta, that the Fitta Neges recommends um, and is part of our correct or right faith, the Rita Haimanot, what is called in translation the Orthodox faith, then this is the psalm right here. So I would like to share this on behalf of our beloved brother, Dr. Gladstone Robinson. Ahadu Amlak. 
Ben Glazinha. I love Egizyavir. I love Yahweh. I love Jah because he have heard my voice and my supplication. Because he hath inclined his ear to I, therefore will I call upon him as long as I live. The sorrows of death compassed I, and the pains of hell got hold upon I. I found trouble and sorrow. Then called I upon the name of Jah Rastafari. O Jah, I father his father, O father the house, Abitu. I beseech thee, deliver my soul. Gracious is Egeziabihir Lotusabhat. Gracious is Jah. And righteous, yea, our God is merciful. Egeziabihir, Yahweh preserveth the simple. I was brought low, and he helped I. Return to thy rest. O oh, my soul, for Egeziabihir Lotusabhat have dealt bountifully with the eye. For thou hast delivered thy soul from death, thine eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. I will walk before Egeziabihir in the land of the living. Amanu Selezihim. I believe, I admit it, therefore I spoke. I was greatly afflicted. I said in my haste, all men are liars. What shall I render to Jah for all his benefits towards I? I will take the cup of salvation I will call upon the name of Yahweh, upon the name of Jehovah Jireh, upon the name of Exiavir, upon the name of Kedamawi, Haila Salase. I will pay my vows to Exiavir, now in the presence of all his people, precious in the sight of Exiavir is the death of his Kedusan, is the death of his saints. Avirtu, I father, his father, O oh, father of the house, truly I am thy servant. I am the I servant and the son of thine handmaid. Thou hast loosed my bonds. I will offer to the I the sacrifice of thanksgiving of Miskana, I will call upon the name of Egeziabihir, upon the name of Kedamawi Haila Salase. I will pay my vows to Egeziabihir now in the presence of all his people, in the courts of Yahweh's house, of Jah's house, in the midst of the O Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Praise ye, Jah. Rest in peace, I, my brother. Shalom, Rastafari.